Hello there. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to collect data from internet. If you have been hired as a database manager or database collector, your manager will share one sheet with you just like this. You would be given some queries that you will have to use in Google. Like here, we have the query as limousine service in and the city name is Sacramento. So let's get started. All you have to do is copy the two columns like this control C and then you can uh, open a new window like I have already opened it right here I'm using Safari by the way you can use any browser and I'll open google.com and here we can use google.com so this way we can search the queries from USA and I'll paste it over here so whenever we will paste the query we will get certain results over here and all we have to do is we need to open all of them so in order to open them in new tab I will kick, uh, click on I will first hold the control key and then click so this way it will open in the new windows automatically so actually we need to open all of these results but for now I'm just opening two three uh, just for the demonstration purpose okay so as we can see now it's opening and as I have opened the other sheet in other windows so I can toggle by clicking on control and alt so it's very easy to toggle between the sheets so what we have to do is we need to fetch the data from here like contact information and put it over here the very first thing that we need is the contact us form so in order to find the form I'll click I will do control plus F and write contact and I can see this is here click here and we will get one form where we can post some message to the client so I'll copy this link and put it over here and form found will be yes because we found the form here and then I'll look for the phone number copy control C and put it here look for the email ID I can just do like this looks like the email ID is not available let me check on the home page okay no problem if something is not available you can leave it so I'm gonna close it and the next website I'll move on to I can check the phone number from here and I'll put it over here and I'll look for the contact form if sometimes you don't find it you can just control F and write contact it will automatically lead you to over there so that you don't waste the time so I'll copy it control C and paste the form here and yes the contact form is available so I'll write here yes and we need to look for the email address and it seems they have not displayed their email address so we can skip it no problem next one check for contact here we go contact form is available control C paste it here yes and here we have the email address control C control V here we have the telephone number as well and in case we have multiple numbers we can write multiple phone numbers right here It's very important to open the sheet in new window so that you can toggle them very nicely otherwise it would be very difficult for you okay we are done with this and the next one here contact us there we go and I can see the form is not available if the form is not available we'll just copy the home page and paste here and write form found 
as no and we'll look for the email address here we go email address is there and the phone number we can find from here yes we are done with it I'll close it and the next one so the basic thing is this way you will have to fetch all the information from Google the first we need to find the contact us link where we can send the message to and then the email address if they have displayed two email addresses you can post over here and then the phone number we are looking for this is the information that you have to gather from Google once we are done with collecting all the records like this uh, we will cl uh, click on each and every link and we will fed the fetch the data from each and every record and then we will go to the next page and the next page as well so we will search only till the third three pages not on the fourth page so we will collect all the data from all these three pages and put it over here and one thing uh, the most important thing is that we do not have to copy the data from the similar websites again and again from the same website I would say we don't have to let's say if this website appear once again we will skip it we will not copy it again because we have already collected the data from this website like you, you can see we have already collected the data from this website so we will not copy the duplicate content one website will be um, checked one only once and the data would be collected only once that's it I think and once you will you are done with all the uh, three pages you can move on to the next query that you will be given by your manager your data would be given to you by a manager just you can copy the queries and collect the data if you have any info if you have any questions you can get in touch with your manager that's it I think thank you very much